Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Are you all ready to go on your end? Um, we are good to go if you are. I'm just yep. freaking the f*** out. That's all right. I'd like you to say hi to Jared. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi. I'm, hey. I, hi, Ricky. Hi. I'm trying to play this really cool because I'm such a huge fan. Jared Leto, how are you? <laughs> I'm great. I'm, I'm happy to be here, too. You know what? You don't have to play it cool. We can, neither of us do. Okay. We can, uh, we can, <laughs> we can let it all out. Okay. I have to thank you because you have been I'm a I'm a singer and I'm a music artist and you were such an inspiration to me in a time where I had lost absolutely lost my spark as a songwriter and as an artist and I kind of was thinking about giving it up and my husband introduced me to your music at a really pivotal time and I think it was about 2009 2010 um he sat me down and he played me the music video for from yesterday it just lit up my imagination and then he took me to come and see you play at the Forum in Melbourne. I think it was in 2010 and wow. watching that show and standing in that show in a place like I'm a I'm a pop girl so standing in a room of people that that I didn't feel like I fit in but that's kind of a lot of the the message of your music is that you find your people and you fit in and that just lit the fire and ever since then I I kind of just I, I went away and I wrote music and I and I came back and I had two double platinum singles on that next album but I really have to thank you for that because I was about to throw the towel in and and you were the, the 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 actual inspiration for what I went on to do after that. So thank you so much. I have to say that. My absolute pleasure, and I'm so happy to hear that. And you know, other people have done that for me in my life, and it's been you know, it's a beautiful thing how other artists can inspire us or change us or kind of guide us or nudge us in the right direction and or remind us of the things that we already know. Uh, what are some of those people for you? You know, I mean, for me, I've had, it, they're not always musicians either. You know, it's uh, visual artists, you know, people like uh, Andy Warhol or mm -hmm. maybe a, 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 someone like uh, David Bowie as well is uh, always kind of reminds me to reach a little further to to really follow my own path and that it's OK to be different. Yeah. It's OK not to fit in. It's OK to 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 fail. You know, and yeah. some of those things that we forget, like failing is probably more important than winning is the failure. That is what teaches you everything. Yeah. So I appreciate hearing that. And, and you know, our music, my brother and I, 30 Seconds to Mars for us is the place to pour out all of our fear and our hope, our dreams, our failure, our, you know, our passion and our heartbreak. Um, and all you can hope for is that other people connect to it in some way. You know, a 30 Seconds to Mars show is it's a special place to be in and it doesn't escape us how lucky we are to be there with that group of people night after night after night and people singing every word of every song and having this, you know, hopefully unforgettable experience. I'm going to have to come and see you in either Melbourne or Brisbane. I'm from Sydney, but I'm playing a show in Sydney on the same night <laughs> that, that, oh, you're, wow. that you're playing. Oh, wow. Great. In. And I'm not even lying when I say that I considered cancelling my show <laughs> because I wanted oh, to come and shit. see you guys so much. So I may have to fly interstate to come and see you because anyone that hasn't seen 30 Seconds to Mars, you guys are just incredible like there, there there is no other word the the energy on that stage and I, I honestly don't know how you do it how do you keep your voice when you're doing a huge tour like this I saw you I think I was watching something on Instagram one of your videos on stage you were syringing honey into your throat hole oh, during yeah. a show <laughs> like you you sing yeah. some hectic songs and there are some epic hectic notes up there you sing it like the top of the heavens how do you how do you do that and sustain that for a tour yeah. well i appreciate that and, and sometimes i don't know how i do it to be honest it's uh uh just a little bit of luck in there somewhere but we try to stay really focused on um, on the road and make sure you sleep like sleep is the key right it is isn't it for for, us, for a singer um but the audience really inspires a lot of that. You know, when you have that kind of enthusiasm, that excitement, it makes it easier to 
push yourself in that way, night after night. And my brother and I are, you know, as we get older, we realize how lucky we are to be able to do this. And um, this show, this tour is great. We're playing longer than we've ever played before. Wow. Like uh, about two hours every night. And we're playing some really old songs uh, that we haven't played in like a decade. Love it. So that's pretty fun. And a lot of songs in that period that you're talking about uh, too, like This Is War, Kings and Queens, Closer to the Edge and Hurricane. And then songs from the album before that, like Attack and From Yesterday and A Beautiful Lie and The Kill. Oh my God. So for us, it's been really, really fun. You're just saying all the things that are just exciting me even more. Closer to the Edge is, and This Is War are like my absolute fight songs. I put them on to like, pump me up if I'm ever feeling down, if I'm ever feeling low. But also the new album is so great. Seasons. Like come on. Thank you. It's so good. Thank how you. how do you how do you manage to continue to evolve while staying true to yourself as 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 an artist and as a band? I mean honestly, like you really just have to do whatever the fuck you want to. True that. You know, you have to, <laughs> you have to. And if you piss some people off or, you know, if you fail, that's okay. So what? Uh, it's important to fail. Uh, you got to try new things. Uh, and for us, my brother and I made the album that we wanted to make and we're really proud of it. And what is it like, you know, you get to tour with your brother. I, I, I have two sisters and I can't imagine touring <laughs> the world with them and spending as much time with them as you do with your brother. How do you guys go? Is it nice to have each other through, through thick and thin and through all these ups and downs or, you know, do you give each other the shits? What's, what's the go? No, no, we don't do we, 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 it's, it's respect and grace. Uh, the two things that we uh, try to offer each other and, uh, and create, but, you know, we've had, look, it's always, it's tough to work with family. Obviously we've had our moments, but as we've gotten older, we learn to cut, to, to give each other the space and the time and the respect that each of us uh, needs and deserves, I guess. But but, you know, I don't think we would still be a band if it wasn't for the, for the fact that we were brothers. We probably would have broken up. Wow. Um, you know, it was that extra bit of commitment, loyalty. We're stuck with each other uh, Forever, through right? thick and thin. Yeah. And, you know, it's um, it's been a, a really important aspect of 30 Seconds to Mars. I don't think the band would be what it is if we weren't brothers. And we feel really lucky to be coming back down to see all of you i don't i think that may have been the last tour we played there i can't remember when we came back down it was festival hall not the forum i said the forum before it's it was festival hall 2010 how crazy is that what a what a wild ride you guys have been on i'm so excited to see you back in australia your fans like myself are dying to see you live again thank you so much for your music um seasons world tour 2024 australian dates are margaret called arena in melbourne thursday 12th of september kudos bank arena in sydney saturday the 14th of september and the river stage in brisbane on tuesday the 17th of september if you have a chance to come to a show uh uh, we'd love you to be our guest and you know i know you're you're singing on your night so or in sydney so uh but hopefully sometime we'll cross paths i I, 100 percent. i hope so thank you so much thank you talk to you soon okay see you soon yeah thank you thanks for the kind words i appreciate it thank you bye ricky lay tim and joe